Wondering how to create a Facebook group? In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step so you can not only get your group set up the right way, but have it working well for you right away. All right, let's get into it. Hey, welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media strategy so they can get more revenue with less work on social media. If that sounds like something you'd like, and wouldn't we all, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell, That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. And if you'd like help getting started creating a streamlined social media plan for your business, uh, stay till the end because I'm gonna show you how to get an invite to my masterclass, Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy. I'll show you how you can get in and see it for free at the end of this video. My name is Jerry Potter, and today we are talking about how to set up a Facebook group. I'll walk through the privacy settings in a Facebook group, because even though they've gotten a little bit better, they're still kind of confusing sometimes. And I'll show you the four primary ways to grow your Facebook group once you've got it up and running, all in this video. From Facebook.com, so just the main Facebook website, you're gonna click this little grid thing up here. This is the menu on Facebook. And then under this Create menu here, you can see there's a lot of different things you can do. We're gonna come down here, we're gonna click on Create Group. So that's how you'll get started. Another way that you can do it, I just like to always show a couple in case Facebook changes something. Over here on the left, I can click Groups in this menu, and then I can click Create New Group right here. So hopefully one of those looks exactly like what you're seeing in Facebook right now, but we know how they like to change things. So here's the Create Group screen. The initial stages are really quick. You're gonna name your group. For this tutorial, I'll call this Social Media for Streamlined Entrepreneurs, which happens to be the name of my podcast if you wanna check it out. Next, you're gonna choose the privacy level. So you have public, which means anyone can see who's in the group and what they post. So this means nobody has to join your group unless they want to actually comment on things. They can read absolutely everything. Private means only people who are in the group, in other words, they've requested to join and you've accepted them, can see the posts as well as who is in the group. Now, I generally do private. Obviously, if it was a paid group, you definitely wanna do private, but private gives a little bit more intimacy for groups and things like that, and if you are trying to grow an audience using a group, then you definitely wanna do private because you want people to have to join, generally, before they're able to kind of see and engage with everything. So for this, I'll go ahead and choose private. Next, I've got this other option. Do I want the group to be visible or hidden? So if it is visible, that means anybody can find the group and request to join. Hidden means only people who are in the group can find this group. So you'd wanna do that if you're doing something very personal like for family and you were just inviting people that you were Facebook friends with to the group. I can tell you if you're not Facebook friends with the people, it can be hard to even get them into the group. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just wanna let you know that I found that to be buggy. So unless you have a really good reason or it's super personal or private, I always go visible in terms of this. Next here in this box, if you have some friends you wanna invite to the group, if I look over here in the middle, you can see it says one member, that's gonna be me. You're the first member of your group. But if you wanna invite some other people right off the bat, you can type their names in there. And if you are Facebook friends with them, they should be able to pop in. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit create, and that's literally it. That's all it takes to create the Facebook group technically, like the group's here now. However, that's not where you wanna stop. Let me show you a few more important things. First, I do recommend uploading a cover photo. It could be something that you created in a program, like I like to use Canva Pro. And if you're interested in Canva Pro, you can check out the description for a link to that where you can get a 45 day free trial. But it could also just be a photograph or anything like that. And so you just click edit, and then you're gonna choose upload photo, and then you can upload a specific photo for your group. Just another way to make your group stand out. If somebody does find your group in search, they won't be able to see your posts if it's a private group like we talked about, but they will be able to see your cover photo. So it's just, again, another way that you can brand your group. If we scroll down here, you can see a few options here that they've described, invite members we talked about, add a cover photo. Um, I do recommend adding a description. So you're gonna click here and you can actually type quite a bit here, multiple paragraphs, but Again, if somebody finds your group in search or gets recommended to your group, this is where they're gonna know what your group is all about. Hopefully your name makes it clear somewhat what the group is about. Your group description is really good for attracting the right people to your group as well as rejecting, not like technically rejecting them, but letting people know sometimes who it's not for so they won't bother to join and waste your time if it's not a good fit. Now, a few more important settings I wanna show you in this group really quick. Right here under membership questions, you can 
have people answer questions before they come into your group. For example, you could collect their email address if you wanted to offer them something to join your email list. You can ask them where they heard about the group. You might want to just ask them you know, why they're joining the group so you can have that as a way to screen people to make sure you get the right people in the group. Down here, I'm going to click on Grow Group. Facebook will suggest your group. Now, they don't suggest most groups, obviously, unless they get a lot of engagement. But this is a thing you can turn off if your group is designed to be like super, super private and you don't want them to suggest it to anybody. And then let me show you the key group settings down here. A lot of this stuff you can kind of figure out on your own. But if you wanted to change the name or the description or the privacy, all of that is under here. If you want to customize the address, so this group that we just created is facebook.com slash group slash this big long number, right? So I might want to come in and since I named it after my podcast, I might want to call it Streamliners Podcast. And if the name's available, it'll give you that green check mark and you can hit save. You can change the color theme for your group if you want. Uh, here's one thing you'll want to look at. Who can join the group? By default, it's just personal profiles. But if you want to let pages join your group too, business pages, you can check that. Here's another important one. By default, anyone in the group can approve member requests. So if you want to be in charge of who's joining your group and who isn't, who can't, then you want to click that. So it says only admins and moderators. The rest of these are mostly self-explanatory, but I do have a video all about Facebook group settings, and I'll link to that in the description of this video. So once your group is set up, and you're going to go do that today, right? Once it's set up, how do you grow it? How do you get more people in there? Here are the four primary ways to grow your Facebook group. Number one, with outside sources. So this is generally where everybody starts, but anything else that you have, like if you can post on your personal profile, if you've got an email list, anywhere else you can tell people about the Facebook group. But I'll tell you the most important thing when you're doing this, if you just say, hey, I've got this Facebook group, I think you'd like to join it because here's what we're gonna do, you might get some people. But at this stage, most of us that are on Facebook are already in too many Facebook groups more than we can keep track of, right? So give them a very specific reason. Hey, I've got this new Facebook group, and next Tuesday, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live about whatever problem you solve. Or next Tuesday, I'm gonna start sharing my five favorite tips for whatever problem you solve, okay? Give them a very specific reason that makes them want to be there, makes your ideal person want to be there. Second primary way to grow a Facebook group is through member referrals. So ask your current members, once you have some, to refer their friends. Now, it works best if you do this in very specific ways, like maybe once a week you say, hey, do you know one friend, as opposed to invite everybody you know to like this or to follow this Facebook group. The other thing to keep in mind is you don't want everybody's friends. You only want the people that your group is for. So similar to what I said in the first way to grow a Facebook group, give them a specific reason. Hey, next week in our group, we're gonna be doing this, this, and this. If you know somebody else that could benefit from that, would you take five seconds and invite them to join our group? Third primary way to grow a Facebook group is gonna be through being found in search. So when you are deciding what to name your Facebook group, as we talked about earlier, if you have a name that it's very clear who it's for and what they're going to get, then you're gonna be a lot more likely to get clicked on in all of those search results. So for example, if you had a Facebook group that was, I don't know, accounting support for small business owners, well, now I know exactly who it's for, and I know what I'm going to get in there. And if that's what I need, then I'm going to request to join your group. So think about that again when you're titling your group. And finally, the fourth way to grow your group is to have a highly engaged group, okay? Even if you've only got your first nine people, be asking questions, getting them involved. Uh, the more people engage, a few things will happen. First of all, your posts will come up in the feeds of other group members. So that'll keep your group relevant and then they'll hopefully engage in those posts as well. Also, the more engagement your group gets, the more likely Facebook is to recommend it to other people. Hey, you might like this group. And finally, the more engagement your group gets, the higher it's gonna come up in search results if somebody searched for the topic that your group is all about. Was this helpful? If so, will you let me know by taking literally five seconds and clicking like or leaving a quick comment? Then I know to make more videos like this for our community. And you're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. Hey, if you're frustrated with the way your social media for your business is going and you want a streamlined plan where you can get more results with less work, 
check out my free masterclass, Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy, okay? You can click the link and get signed up right now or watch this video for more information.